When the temperatures drop below freezing, the water reaches bone chilling temperatures and the lakes begin to freeze over. This is when some swimmers flock to the water for a swim with no wetsuits. They cut a hole in the ice and lower themselves into the water, enjoying a few moments of tranquility as the snow falls around them. They must be crazy, right? Well, maybe. But swimming in freezing cold water or ice swimming actually has tons of benefits. Welcome to my swim pro and in today's video, we're going to show you what happens to your body when you swim in cold water, freezing water, and why millions of swimmers around the world love ice swimming. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Before we dive in, a quick disclaimer, never go ice swimming alone and talk to your doctor before you go for your first cold water dip. Stay tuned for more safety tips later on in this video. All right, let's start with some background. Ice swimming has been popular all over the world for thousands of years. There's a record of cold water swimming in the United Kingdom from back in the first century. And in Russia, people have been ice swimming since at least the 1500s. In Russia and other countries where Eastern Orthodox Christianity is a dominant religion, some people go ice swimming to celebrate the epiphany. In Nordic countries like Finland, ice swimming is a huge part of day-to-day -day life for some. Swimmers will go for a quick dip in the icy ocean, followed by a relaxing trip to the sauna to warm up. Now that sounds nice. But let's get one thing straight. Ice swimmers aren't swimming long distances in the freezing water. For most ice swimmers, their daily swim is no more than a short dip. Most people begin with just a few seconds, working their way up 30 seconds to a minute. They might swim in a short circle and hop out to warm up. Over time, the body becomes more acclimated to the water, and you're able to handle longer swims. It's just as much a mental challenge as it is physical. For more extreme swimmers, the International Ice Swimming Association officiates ice swimming races. Yes, these races are either one kilometer or one mile. To be an official ice swimming event, the water must be five degrees Celsius or colder. That's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so what happens to your body when you go ice swimming? As you ease your body into the water, the cold might take your breath away. At first, your skin will feel prickly, your hands and feet might even feel like they're getting burning sensation, and after a while, your body will acclimate and your hands and feet may start to go numb. Then, you might feel a sudden rush of warm tingles and you'll start to feel amazing. And it's that feeling, that amazing feeling, it's a sign that your body loves ice swimming. When you go for a quick swim in icy water, your body releases endorphins, the same hormones that give you a runner's high, that feel good after an incredible workout. Your body also increases production of serotonin, which balances your mood, dopamine, which controls your brain's pleasure centers, and oxytocin, which is known as the love hormone. But it doesn't stop there. Regular ice swimming has been shown to boost the immune system, improve blood circulation, reduce stress, and help your body burn more calories throughout the day. Plus, being out in nature, even for just a few minutes, can be meditating and calming. Beyond the physical benefits, ice swimming is a very special sport. There are cold water swimming clubs all over the world, so you're guaranteed to meet a few new buddies during your cold water adventure swims. And if you don't have access to an ice cold lake, river, or ocean, an ice bath is the next best thing. You might not be able to swim around, but you're still reaping all the benefits of cold water. People have been using ice baths since the ancient times to speed up recovery and improve their health. Now all these benefits are great, but ice swimming comes with a few real risks. If you're thinking about going ice swimming and giving it a try, it's important that you know what you're doing and what you're getting yourself into so that way you're prepared in case of an emergency. Sudden exposure to cold water can cause hypothermia, cause you to hyperventilate. It may also cause a heart attack as your blood gets cold and moves back to your heart. 
as you hang out in cold water, you may experience cold incapacitation, which is when your limbs suddenly feel too weak to move, making it difficult to walk back to shore or grab something for support. Of course, hypothermia is the biggest concern, but it doesn't typically set in until after about 30 minutes in water above 15 degrees Celsius. Most swimmers won't last anywhere close to 30 minutes, or will you? After you're done swimming, there's an unexpected after drop. When your body temperature drops suddenly five to 10 minutes after you've gotten out of the water, this happens when the warm blood in your core moves to your limbs and the cold blood from your limbs moves to your core. After drop can be brutal if you aren't prepared for this. If you have heart or respiratory disease or high blood pressure, of course talk to your doctor before trying anything like this. Despite those risks, millions of people enjoy ice swimming every single day. The key is being prepared, taking it slow, and just getting right into it. So, do you want to try ice swimming yet? If you're ready to give it a shot, these tips will help you out. First and foremost, don't go alone. Find a local group of experienced friends who can take you for your first ice swim. To help keep your head, fingers, and toes warm, invest in a fleece beanie and neoprene mittens or booties. These can make all the difference. When you're gearing up and getting ready to get in the water, slowly ease yourself in so your body can acclimate. Don't just jump right in. Keep your breathing regular and avoid hyperventilating. When you're able to submerge your body in the water, build it up slowly, adding a few seconds to each dip, each swim until you've built up to about a minute. Avoid dunking your head. That's for veteran ice swimmers only. You'll get there. To avoid hypothermia, spend as much time in the water as the number of degrees in Celsius. So if the water is 10 degrees Celsius, you should spend no more than 10 minutes in the water. But it really comes down to listening to your body, knowing your limits, developing, and growing. After your swim, have a set of dry clothes ready and sip on hot water, coffee, or tea to help warm your body from the inside and the outside. If you can get to a sauna or sit in your car with the heat on, that helps too. Whether you think ice swimmers are crazy or not, cold water swimming is definitely here to stay and it's growing. Would you give ice swimming a try? Let me know in the comments and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more awesome swimming videos like this. So are you ready to take the plunge?